hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, in this video we'll be looking at uh, simplifying the last uh, test that we did again as we said uh, we ended up repeating a lot of uh, creation of the student models literally in each test and in this video we'll be looking at the setup function that will help us to set some of these uh, data so that we cannot repeat them in all the consecutive tests so to do that um, uh, we come here to the top and define it's called the setup and make sure is this uh, camel case um, format small s and capital U like so and so what we'll do is uh, instead of repeating this student one and getting the query set from uh, student .objects last in each of these functions we are going to define it once and we can run it in every test so i'm literally just going to copy this student one like so and paste it there and i'm getting this error Ma method must at least have one oh, this ma this is self like so and so what we can do instead of uh, doing this I can literally cancel all of this and uh, I need to reference this student one so I'm going to say here self dot student one dot first name it should be Tom and when I run python manage dot py test see if it's going to work it has failed it said uh, a test student model has no attribute student one okay uh, this need to be self dot okay let's clear this run it again a uh, unique constraint failed classroom student oh so the reason this uh, unit uh, we are getting this error is because we've defined this here once and every time we repeat the same student with the same admission number one two three four it's going to fail because we set this as a unique if we go back to the models i believe we set the admission number as unique so i can do this as one two three four five like so and now all this should pass let me just clear and run this again we can see si run six tests and they all passed and well, one of the things with uh, the Django model test cases is these six dots here indicate the number of tests that are there and we'll see when we start using PyTest how we can make this a bit more visual and a bit more verbose so now what we can do is uh, we can go and replace everything self dot student one and we can come here and cancel everything literally self dot student one as well as this Then we need to comment out everything. Make sure it's that. And now if we run our test again, not supported between, uh, this is which test grade pass test, grade pass student one. Oh, so uh, in this case, we didn't give the average score. So um, actually what I'll do, I'm going to uncomment this out. And I'm going to return it to the way it was uh, because uh, I need to cover this in the next tutorial. So also for this, I'm going to say student result and I'm going to uncomment this one out. Uh, the reason of I'm commenting it out because the error that we are getting about average score is that we need to add this value 
uh, to this self.student1 and I don't want to do that and I don't want to create another student. So what is going to happen in the next video, I'm going to introduce a new awesome package, it's called Mixer and in this package what we'll be doing is generating random values uh, when creating students so that we don't have to hard code everything and that will make our lives much easier, especially when you are dealing with dynamic content such as the average score, uh, which maybe we needed to change between different values uh, as well as the admission number. So that was it for now for the uh, setup function. We'll be using this function a lot, especially in setting up setting up new users. Uh, we'll also use it for, uh, for example, getting uh, access tokens or logged in users. That uh, will be a, a couple of videos from now when you're dealing with authentication. Uh, we can also use the setup function, uh, for example, to set up timers if we need to use one uh, or literally any other function that we need to use universally or which is replicated across various test cases. So um, in the next video we look at Mixer and also uh, at the video after that we look at how to set up VS Code to run our test. So I look forward in seeing you in the next one.